to the Lookout on Outlook, brought to you by the Teaching and Learning Technologies Division of Technology Services at the University of Wisconsin, River Falls. Today we're on the Lookout on Outlook for utilizing the View tab. There are many options which may make your work efficient in choosing different views on your particular tab. So let's get started. Just a review as to what we're seeing here in the Outlook window in Office Outlook 2010 on the Windows version. This um, complete view here is three different panels. The left side panel is my navigation panel, the middle panel here is my reading panel and information panel, and the right side here is the to-do bar. So we can move different things around in here as we utilize the view tab up here. So first of all we're going to talk about the view tab and the different things we can see in the view of our uh, email and information that has come in. So what you see here, click on the view tab and if I want to make this view a little bit differently so that I can see things as I'm viewing my email, I can close the minimize the navigation pane with this arrow up here. I can minimize the uh, to-do bar with this arrow up here. So now you're seeing a little bit more uh, information here. And I can also grab the middle uh, vertical line here separating these two windows and drag this over so I can see more information in this particular window. So maybe I want to see my information like this if I'm used to double clicking on things. So if I wanted to open this up, double click it, I can see that that way and then close this. And if I want to be able to bring the folders back in or if I want to look at different things, I can just click on that bring that right back in. Maybe I don't use the actual reading pane as much as I do the information pane over here. So there's different things you can do with that. So let's take a look at the view and what we see in different things here. So maybe I'm looking in my particular uh, inbox here or whatever folder I chose. I've got the inbox here and you now see that it's um, got these columns up top from and the sorting and the alarms and the subject and receive because I've expanded this particular window but it's choosing the column headings that are in here so I'm sorting mine right away by the date if I want to sort it by from I click on this and I can now sort it by from and I can use this to go up ascending or down I could choose the reverse sort here so right now it looks like it's in um, descending I could choose this sort from here and say reverse sort and now you'll see it's sorting down from that particular uh, name. Choose reverse sort again and it's sorting up going that way and so I've got my bar here that I can um, move and change that up so now you're seeing the A to Z here or if I choose it here I can do the reverse sort and that's the same thing that's working with this reverse sort. So I can also uh, sort by date and then I can move this column over here and I can sort by size or subject. Maybe I'm interested in finding out what the size of my uh, particular emails are and maybe I want to sort by attachments and see that I've ascended out or sent out some attachments you can see I've sorted these this particular way so maybe I'd like to see different columns in here so I can add columns choose on this add columns button here and you'll see there's other frequently used or other available columns and headers that are available here and I can sort that or move this up navigate through pick one of these let's see message is not in there maybe I want to see message over there and add that to my particular column so these are now the columns that are in my sort order and I can move those up maybe I want um, the header status or I don't want that but I can move it down all the way down here and do different things like that you click OK and I would see a change in my um, email sort order here. I just canceled that because I don't want to actually change it. But this is where I can see different things in the arrangement of how I'm viewing my particular email. Again, you can move these by choosing that little arrow at the top and um, add this up or close this over and I can move that over even more. It gives me more information to look at and choose sort by date or however I want to particularly sort it. And there you have it.